learned is uh, never ask a guy what he's thinking, especially if he looks like he's thinking something profound, because the answer will break your heart. <laughs> You're better off projecting your own thoughts on him than actually finding out what's going on in that brain. Because I was looking at my boyfriend the other day, and because he's Mexican, when he frowns, to me, he looks very revolutionary. <laughs> you know, like he's thinking of his people. <laughs> La raza. <laughs> so I, 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 what's on your mind? I don't like apples. <laughs> okay, I don't like my life. I, uh, I do like sex. Uh, I don't even know how to respond to that noise, sir. <laughs> it's shocking in several ways. And first of all, you're the only one who agreed with me in the entire audience. That is disturbing. And then the way you agreed with me is also frightening as well. Uh, my favorite part of sex, and you, you might agree, is when the guy has an orgasm. Because that's the only time men are completely defenseless. any other time of the day, most men are stronger than most women, you know, they can always beat us up, right? I mean, if they want to, you know, but during an orgasm, the, the power changes, they're, they're helpless. If there was an earthquake, yeah, it is true, sir, I've, I've thought this stuff out. <laughs> I've got a, an entire plan here. If there was an earthquake during a guy's orgasm, he couldn't even save his own life. Be like, oh God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's why men and women never climax together. One of us has to be alert. <laughs> so we can pull our partner to a doorway where they can ejaculate in safety. <laughs> men work so hard to be macho so they can attract women so they can then collapse inside of us, right? <laughs> So all that macho-ness, that's all about really those 15 or 20 seconds of complete surrender. So when I see tough looking guys, like all the guys in this audience tonight, I'm like, you're liars. <laughs> you want the opposite of what you're projecting, you know? And if I saw some of you on the street, I'd be afraid of you. I'd, I'd have like a natural female fear, but I would tell myself, I'd be like, yeah, I know you're not so tough, tough guys. <laughs> huh, does this sound familiar? <gasps> Yeah, who's a bitch now? Bitch, you are. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Thanks a lot. Good night.